On any given day, as many as 2,000 students at Henry Clay go through the same process before they can even step foot in their classrooms. And there's all the metal detectors and you have to, there's about eight of them. And so you get in a line and then you unzip your backpack and then you set it on a table. And you have to take all your like keys and electronics like off of you and put them on the table or in your bag. Then you walk through the detector and they open your bag, like open the pockets and look through it. It is supposed to be a thorough process that happens at each of Fayette County Public Schools high schools. One entrance operated by security ambassadors. But on Thursday, a 15 year old was arrested in charge for possession of a loaded gun, sending the school on lockdown. As students exit the school for the day, the big question that some of them are having, as well as their parents, is how did a gun get in those doors? There are metal detectors in place at all of the high schools, including safety ambassadors. While we were in the lockdown, we were like whispering each other, how is this happening? Police are still investigating that question, but students who were inside let us know that bags are hand searched. As you're walking in, you have to take your backpack off, obviously, and then uh, you just like zip it, like unzip, unzip it from here, like that, and then you just give it to them and they'll, they'll check the whole thing. And they feel that who checks their bags does make a difference. I feel like some of them like search the bags pretty well and then others just look in them and they don't really like care, like they'll just open one pocket. Some people, they'll just look through one of the zips, feel, do this and then just like, they just pass it on. And I'm like, why are they not checking that? Good. We talked to John Akers, executive director at Kentucky Center for School Safety, about metal detectors just days before this incident. Akers told us that around 2.9%, around 40 schools of the 1,350 in the state use metal detectors on a daily basis. Everybody is safe, nobody was harmed. I can tell you that historically, schools that have had metal detection, usually in about four or five years, don't do them anymore. Uh, the reason being is because, you know, they realize that it can be, um, it can, kids can find go arounds on those to get whatever they want into a building. Akers says what's more important is student relationships with people they know they can trust. He says students and staff speaking up is the best safety tool. It's how a 17 year old was found with a gun and arrested at Whitley County High School just over a week ago. It's important for me as an educator to give that same message out to the people who are out there in the schools today continue on trying to strengthen those relationships. It is again what Fayette County Public School Superintendent is crediting help them keep campus safe on Thursday. First, we um, have established a culture where um, our students actually feel comfortable um, going to staff and understand the importance of immediately reporting something when they've seen something or they've heard something. Understanding it could have been worse. The how is still a question some students are hoping to get answers on soon. All the shootings that are going around the world and the country, I'm like, I think it's going to happen more often now. Christiana Ford, Evening Edition.